Hello everyone, welcome to Yesterday. In this game, you get to play as three different characters, all caught up in strange events taking place in New York City, where homeless people are disappearing and then showing up burnt alive. Alright, this game is made by Penj uh, Pendaloo Studios, if I'm hope I'm hope I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah, Pendaloo or Penjaloo or something like that. They're probably best known for making the Runaway series of adventure games. At least that's their work that I'm most familiar with, only in that I've heard about those games quite a bit. However, keep in mind I've never played any of their previous works. I've never played the Runaway series or anything else, that, anything else they've made. So, unfortunately, I can't offer any perspective on that. Uh, I'm just not familiar with their work. Okay, so this game is, from what I can tell, it's practically unknown. I don't even remember how I found out about it. I think I was just like browsing around on Steam looking at all of their adventure games. Looking for something interesting, and I found it that way. Like, barely anyone has ever really talked about this game. It just kind of showed up, and then disappeared without any real fanfare, as far as I can tell. Which is kind of worrisome, but I like diamonds in the rough. So maybe this is a diamond in the rough that just, for some reason, got passed by. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I've heard mixed things about it. I'll just leave it at that. I've heard mixed things about it, so I'm not expecting anything great. And just based on a couple minutes that I've played, just to make sure everything works, I would say I already have some very big concerns about it. And so we'll see how this goes. But it's intriguing. I wouldn't have... Just looking at the graphic style, it's kind of... a little bit cartoony. And kind of cartoony graphic styles really aren't my thing. I really don't like them at all, actually. So I wouldn't have played it if it wasn't for the fact that, despite the slightly cartoony graphic style, it's actually about, like, a serial killer case and murders, and is actually very mature and dark. So that's what interested me about it the most, I think. I think it's going to be a very dark adventure game. We'll see. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, one of the really bad things about the game that I've noticed so far is that the menu system is terrible. There is basically no main menu. This is it. I started up the game, and this is it. You can't even access options in the main menu. The only thing you can do is press this button, which doesn't even have a tooltip, by the way, telling you what it does. Thankfully, though, I'm familiar enough with that symbol to know that means power down, in other words, exit. And that's it. You can delete your save slots, play a save slot, start a new one, and quit. That's it. When I first started up the game, it blew my eardrums out. So I wanted to change the audio volume. But I couldn't, because there are no options in the main menu. Leaving me to either have to go in-game, so then I can access the audio options, or just all tab out and just change the volume of it uh, in Windows, which is what I did. So yeah, really bad menu, and I'll show you more about the menu when we get in. Anyway, let's start a new game. I... why is that a different... I... whatever, play, I guess? I, none of these have tooltips and nothing's really explained. I don't know what any of this stuff does. Like, what is this? St okay, that's stop. And this is start a new one. Uh, okay. This game is dedicated to all those who live in the street and those who try to improve their situation. Like, I can't even pronounce that. The Pendaloo Studios team.
one year earlier. Children of Dawn. Uh, oh, that was quick. homeless person burned to death. It's the sixth one this year. And the killer? Nothing, Henry. The victims are faceless and nameless, and no one cares. Not the media, the police, or politicians. Some people do care. I care. There's almost nothing we can do from here. Go talk to them. Get their names. Count them. Offer them our help and resources. Convince them they can have a better life. Take a look at this list. In all these places, there are homeless people we still haven't contacted. We have to continue our work, despite the danger. I... I'll do my best. I'll start with the first one, and... Cadway Station? Forget that one. Wait for me here. Want me to go with you? I'd rather you stayed and watched the van. It's too dangerous. It's on the list because... How should I know? No one has gone there since the hall collapsed. And frankly, I doubt there's anyone still living in that hellhole. Do me a favor. Stay out of trouble, okay? you need help to start playing, click on the icon below. No, I don't. Okay, so, yeah, let's talk about some things before I continue. First one. That intro was five kinds of terrible. Voice acting was... Uh, it was okay. Decent voice acting. Animations were terrible. Lip syncing was terrible. That intro was incredibly awkward and just weirdly edited together. The transitions and... I, I don't know, there's just something really weird about it. And frankly, I don't like the graphic style. Not only does it look kind of cartoony, but it just looks weird. It's like he's some sort of weird plastic mannequin or something. All of the characters are weird and plastic and... Just weird. Like, the woman that was talking in the intro. Her, like, what was wrong with her mouth? It was huge! Why the hell was her mouth so big? Just creepy. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Something about homeless people and reaching out to them and... But, but... What? Hold on. I... I look like I'm like 17 or 16 or something. Can someone tell me why I'm investigating a case involving dead homeless people? I, I'm like 17 years old. I guess I'm already a hardened detective if I can look at a picture of a burned body and not even care about it. Like, yeah, whatever. Burned bodies, serial killers. No big deal. I'm just gonna go into a creepy, dilapidated... Train station, place, sure. Why not? Like, is it really appropriate for me to be here? I don't think so. I wouldn't go here. Okay, some more things. So this is the section that I started to, so I've already moved around a bit and just gotten a little bit, emphasis on a little bit, familiar with the interface and stuff. And, what, what? Look at my character move. Looks choppy as hell, right? Really choppy. Uh, I bet that's running at something like 15 FPS at most. Maybe less. However, the game is not running choppy. I am getting 60 frames per second. Look at the character move and look at my mouse move over it. See, the game's perfectly smooth. My mouse is smooth, everything is smooth, but the character's movement animation is not. It looks hideous. Every time I look at the character animation, it looks like the game is running horribly, but everything else is running fine. Which means it's just locked to be at that frame rate for the character moving. Uh, I suspect the character is made, of a, made up of a bunch of 2D uh, images. Just 2D animations. I, I don't think the character is actually 3D. I, I don't think this is a 2.5D game, where the character is 3D and the backgrounds are 2D. It, it looks like the character is 2D. And I'm guessing they baked the animations for it, their, the characters' movements to be like 15 FPS or something. I don't know what the hell they did, but it looks terrible. It looks really bad. I, I feel like my computer is running like shit right now every time I move the character, but it's not. I'm getting 60 FPS. It's very uncomfortable, it's very distracting, it's very weird. So this game is not making a good first impression. 
The intro was bad. The uh, uh, damn it! What was I gonna say? The animations are bad. The graphic art style is bad. Uh, the menu is horrid. Look at these. Look at the menu. This down here. Yesterday, more info. I don't even know what the hell that does. Should we find out? Let's click it. What does that do? Uh, oh, that tells me how to play the game. Okay, cool. Now, look at these. Look at these down here. Look at all those buttons. What do they do? Do you want to know what they do? Now, if you wanted to know what a button did, you might think, uh, oh, I'll mouse, I'll mouse over it and get a tooltip, right? Nope. 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 No tooltips. They don't fucking tell you what they do. They're just little colorful icons. Look at this. Is this, uh, looks like a scope. Maybe this is a sniper scope. Is this take out my gun and shoot something? Is this going to turn into Deer Hunter? Let's click it and find out. Click here to see the hotspots that you can interact with. Oh, that's what it does! It shows the hotspots. It doesn't tell you that next time you click it, by the way, that little thing telling you what it does. So if you don't memorize what that does, you're screwed. Unless it tells you more info, does it? Okay, um, apparently if you click more info while your character's moving, you break the game. Wait for him to stop moving. Now it works. Wait for him to start moving. And now it works? What? Okay. Hmm. Does it tell you? Oh, yes. So if you're staring at the menu down here and you want to see what it does, you click this button over here, and you look over here, and you match it to the thing, and then you read it like, yeah, wow, really good interface. Do the scope to see objects that you can interact with. Press the light bulb to... Uh, wh uh, what is this, hint? Block this button will give you small hints. Oh, the light bulb is hints. I need a rope. This is... The fuck is this? Uh, what? Wh what is this? I have squares that I can click on, and an up and down button, and a super up and super down button, like a forwards and rewind. I think when I first started the game, it mentioned this was some sort of... Like, if you want to replay your favorite section of the game, do this. Like, what? This, by the way, is the only option that the game has. There are no resolution settings. There are no graphic quality settings, which doesn't surprise me that much, because I think it's an entirely 2D game from what I can tell, so, you know, you really can't do all that much. But, no options except volume. Just volume. That's it, and you can only access it when you're already in-game, after your eardrums have been blown out. This. Down. Line. Downline. Oh, that's self-explanatory. Of course, downline. Interface bar minimized. Interface bar always visible. Mm, let's minimize it. I guess. Well, should I? Mm, no, I think I want it always up. And this is power down. Or quit. Or quit and say I don't even fucking know exactly what it's going to do. Is it going to instantly close the game? Is it going to give me the option to save? I don't know. It doesn't tell me anything. Okay. So, yes, this game has made a very bad first impression. But, take a deep breath with me. God, the menu system is terrible. The menu system is terrible. The menu system is terrible. Take a deep breath. Now, putting all that aside... Let's see what else the game has to offer. Maybe it'll turn out to be very good, despite these problems. Okay, so we have some stuff. We... <laughs> look, look at the, look at the menu. Look at, look at the menu. I, I'm, I'm holding my mouse over this, this flashlight, and doing nothing else other than holding it over it. And it's switching between an hourglass, which is obviously examine it, and an up arrow that moves up. What? What does that mean? Up arrow moving up. What? What is that telling me? Okay, let's left click it. Flashlight. Thank you. I think the up arrow is telling me that I can move it up and use it on stuff. Can I put it in my hand? No. Okay. 
my smartphone, cell phone. Your ID card as a volunteer for the... The... Does it say NGO? What, what the hell is NGO? I don't know, and I don't know how to pronounce it either. Children of Dawn... Quixote? Quixote? I, I don't... I don't know. Anyway, he's a volunteer. So I'm, I'm like a 17-year-old volunteer. Chasing down a serial killer and burned homeless people and stuff. Okay. And I don't even remember why I'm here in the station. Something to do with homeless people and reaching out to them, I think? This is a hint. Uh, look, look in the subway car. Thank you. Wow. Um, you know what? I can already see it's not worth it trying to pixel hunt, so I'm just going to use this. Oh, he just teleport. What? I clicked on it and he teleported. What? I don't get it. Okay, what is... Alright, I see something in there. Look closer. There's a suitcase trapped under the rubble that's blocking the stairway. Hmm. Can you get it open? No matter how hard you pull on the handle, you can't get the suitcase out from under the rubble. Hmm. Don't really see what I can do about that. I think it's gonna have to stay. Maybe it's a gigantic eye. Maybe not. But the truth is, you feel like you're being watched. You could take one of the tiles from the mosaic, but you don't. Oh, apparently the space key pauses the game, I just realized. Which, you know, I mean, I should have known that, right? Because the game tells me the controls and allows you to set them. Oh wait, it doesn't allow you to do any of those things. Unless it tells you here. Inventory. No. There could be all sorts of useful hotkeys that I don't know about because the game doesn't tell me. Uh, what? Inventory. Click on the bottom bar items to blow them up. <laughs> what? Blow them up is an interesting word for magnify. Okay, I'm gonna blow up my uh, blow up my flashlight. Right click, double click, or drag them onto the bottom bar to bring them back to the inventory. Hmm. What I want to know is: is there a hotkey? To use the the show me the items to interact with because I'm gonna to want to be using that all the time. Uh, E F space and uh, who cares? Whatever. I guess I'll just click it. Train car. This plank, along with the electric light, is proof that there's someone living in the station. That's true. You decide to leave the plank there, where where it serves as a bridge to cross the tracks. That would be wise. Oh, so I can go back to where I came from. Interesting. Alright, uh, let's go in the station. Uh, the car. Where he once again teleports. Okay, uh, what the hell? Uh, your heart skips a beat when you think you found someone, but it's just a mannequin. Whoever lives here has a twisted sense of humor. That is very creepy. See, ho okay, hold on. I need to... I need to add to what I said previously about the art style being terrible. The art style for the characters is terrible. They look weird and cartoony and out of place and weird. Not just because they're out of place in the rest of the art style in the grim setting. I mean, it's kind of like a horror serial killer game, I think. It's very dark. I mean, for God's sake, it's about homeless people being snatched off of the streets and then burned alive. And yet the characters look like they're from a cartoon. What? I mean, you can combine cartoony art styles with horror. It can work. But when you have cartoony looking characters with a re fairly realistic art style for the environment, it's just weird. And plus, just the design of the characters themselves looks weird on their own, regardless of the environment they're in. They just look bad. They look like crap. But anyway, like I was saying, that only applies to the characters. The environments actually look very, very good. This is really good art. It's... It's mostly realistic. The environment art style is mostly realistic. Maybe slightly cartoony or something. Or slightly, slightly stylized. Might be a better word. But yeah, the environment art is really good. Very, very good. 
so I want to give them quite credit where it's due. Alright. Closed. It can't be opened. There's rubble blocking it on the other side. Let's examine the mannequin. She seems to be weeping. You don't consider picking up the mannequin or changing its pose. Ooh, is that a bar? An iron handrail. Broken. You've never exactly been famous for your physical prowess, so you pick up the iron bar to protect yourself from any problems that might come up. Of course, classic adventure game. Pick up everything. I like it. You're thirsty and your mouth is dry. If only the can were full. Right now you drink anything, even beer. Something you normally detest. Even though the can's empty, who knows? It might come in handy later. You know, I really wish this button was not on a cooldown and had an easy hotkey to use it, because pixel hunting through the environment would just suck. I'm just going to use it constantly. Well, it looks like there's some electrical wire. Is that just not connected to anything? An electrical cable s uh, several meters long. Um, sev wait, several meters long? Uh, I would say more than several. That looks like... Wait, how many feet are in a meter? I don't remember. Hmm. I don't know, but that looks like 25 feet or more. When you pick up the cable, an image of Ralph Martinson comes to mind. A student in your university who was found hanging in the restroom a couple of months ago. Ugh. Good music, too. I like the music. I really can't interact with this cable box? Electrical cable box thing? I'm surprised. Usually that's like all you do in adventure games. Cable box, repair wires, replace fuses, etc, etc. Hm. Let's continue on. Yep, I... Let me just mention about this teleporting thing. Where you click on something and you teleport to it. Like, if you do this... Oh, even if you double-click, it teleports you there. That's pretty cool. Like, you click that and he just teleports. I like that. Because it saves you from just pointlessly wandering around and wasting your time. Just waiting for your character to walk. But... The way the character just fades out... And then fades in is really awkward looking. It, it doesn't look good. I think they should have done it a different way. Maybe even just straight up teleport the character there instantly and not actually show it fade out. I don't know. Anything. I think anything would look better than that. That's weird. This bulb is like partially full. What does that mean? That's the hint system, which I obviously don't need to use yet. Hmm. <laughs> A box of creepy toys. A toy phone. You pick up the toy phone from the box. Oh my god, what am I going to be doing with this stuff? This isn't going to go like full-on stupid classic adventure game, stupid, ridiculous, stupid, 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 ridiculous, stupid, repetitive adventure game puzzles, is it? Did I mention stupid and ridiculous? I mean, I'm like five minutes into the game and I already have a pole, an empty can, a bunch of electrical wire, and a toy phone. Is that a toy piano? An electronic keyboard. Most likely a cheap one. No shit. You pick up the keyboard even though it has no batteries. What? Ah. Uh. Hmm. Let me... Nope, doesn't work. What if I smash it? Okay, 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 fine. What is that? Uh, oh, that was a payphone. A telephone with no receiver, and with a broken keypad. As things stand, calling from this phone is not an option. No kidding! A bizarre mix of rubble and toys. Could there be children living in this station? Since you're a bit of a nerd, 
you pick up the battery-operated figure of a character from a video game that came and went almost unnoticed. <laughs> Is that... that? That's probably a reference to one of their previous games. Just based on the way they said that. I'm pretty sure it is. But I haven't played their previous game, so I don't actually know. Battery-operated figure. Batteries. This thing needs batteries. Hmm. I would need to open it. Alright, so what, do I need a screwdriver or something? Yep. Which I don't have. You could break it open. Nope. Alright, fine. Wait a minute, is there another item I can pick up here? Are you serious? There's so many toys left in the box. You decide not to pick up any of the toys in the box. Okay. Arbitrarily deciding not to pick up toys after he already arbitrarily picked up a couple toys? That's strange. There's rubble blocking the door. The pieces are too heavy. You'll never be able to move them. Is that a broken hoop? A basketball hoop? Somewhat broken. Unlike your friend Cooper, you've never been interested in sports. There's a coin stuck in the slot. You press the coin return button, but the trapped coin doesn't drop. Hmm. Hmm. Do I have anything that could possibly do something? I don't know, this is thin. Shove it in. Isn't stiff enough to push the coin trap in the slot. Hmm. Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. Nah, I don't have anything. You recall... See, see, look at... What is wrong with her lips? I mean, she just looks... Fuck, she looks deformed. What is wrong with her? What's wrong with your face? You recall the words of June, the director of Children of Dawn... I really need to learn how to pronounce that. Cadway Station? Forget that one. Stay out of trouble, okay? Wait, really? Forget that one? Mm. Do I even have a choice? Looks like I'm going to be going there, like, right now. Alright, is there anything else left? Nope. Let's go up. Hmm. Man, the environment art is seriously good. That is really, really good. Alright, what do we have? Thorns. Wow. Whoever lives here really doesn't want anyone to get through the gate. That is nasty. Although you've never been very interested in your body, <laughs> you value it enough to not try to climb over the bramble. Fair enough. Alright, it's just that, and this. Hmm. What could... Well, I guess I could use the bar, maybe. You assume that it was put there by the people who live here. What are they protecting? It's locked and, obviously, can't just be pushed open. Alright, see if this is strong enough. Really? Not even a, like, it's not strong enough? Just, okay. You shine your flashlight on the padlock, but you don't see anything new. I... Honestly, I was doing that as a joke. I didn't... So, <laughs> wait a minute. Trying to pry open a lock with a bar doesn't do anything. But if you used a flashlight, it gives you a little bit of text. What? I don't get it. Okay, well, nothing I have is going to do anything at all. So... Smash it with a piano! Nope. Alright. I don't have anything that could get the can, do I? I mean, the coin. I don't know, let's go back. Now, can I pry it out?
You tried to use the bar as a lever between the rubble and the suitcase, but you failed to get it out. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute, what if- can I take one of the tiles now? If this was a puzzle game, you'd surely know uh, how to rearrange the tiles to find some mysterious password. But it's not. Um, I'm sorry, but this obviously is a puzzle game. Because I'm trying to solve a puzzle right now. The dark tunnel you used to enter the station. You've come here with the clear goal of helping any homeless people who might be living here. And you're not leaving until you've achieved it. Fair enough. Alright, whatever hint. Where will you tie the cable? Uh... At the moment, nowhere? What would I tie it to? I mean, really, what what would I tie it to? What could I tie it to? What the hell could I tie the cable to? I mean, uh, I don't get it. Tie the cable to what? I mean, like, I could yank something open if I could tie the cable to, like, the gate and then the other end to, say, the winch of a truck, but there's no truck down here. There's no vehicle that can move. So... Alright, just give me another hint. I've tried using the cable near the stairway blocked by rubble. The stairway... What? What? Is this the stairway blocked by rubble? It's rubble blocking the door. Here? Like, uh, attach the cable to the... This? You tie one end of the cable to the handle of the suitcase, then you wrap the other end around the column and tie it also to the handle... Of the suitcase. What? What good is that? Congratulations! You tied an electrical cable around a column and, a tied, bo and tied both ends to a suitcase. The what? How does that help anything? I don't understand. Wait, am I- do I need to use the bar and, like, twist it? Ah, you insert the bar between the cable and the column and you turn it. Multiplying your force until the cable finally pulls the suitcase out from underneath the rubble. Okay. That was... ridiculous. We're- we're sl slowly sliding into cla stupid classic adventure game puzzle syndrome. That wasn't horrible, but that was weird. Would that actually work? It probably would work. I've never done it before. It's just... Uh, I mean... Couldn't you have just pried it out of the rubble? Like, couldn't it have been straightforward? Why did it have to be that complicated? <sighs> Alright, this game made a bad first impression, and it's making a bad second impression. <sighs> you open the suitcase and find several things that might be useful to you. Ooh, I like tools. Well, I know what to use with this. Screwdriver. Boom. You unscrew the cover on the battery compartment on the back of the figure and remove the batteries. Cool. Now I can put these in the... Piano, I don't know why. They're exactly the right type for the keyboard. You insert them, press on, and see that the batteries actually work. Great, I don't know what the hell I'm going to be doing with it, but at least now it has power. Alright, and we have some tape. And a box knife. 
or box cutter, whatever. And an empty suitcase. Um, now what? Well, my next quest is probably to get that padlock open. That's probably the only thing I can do. Hmm. Wait a minute. Can I get the coin with this? The knife blade is too thin to dislodge the trap coin. And too flexible to use as a lever to pry it out. Screwdriver? You try to pry the coin out of the slot with a screwdriver, but you can't get it out. God damn it. Can you reach it with tape? Hmm. This is going downhill fast. Like, I don't get why he can't just grab the coin. I mean, like... Is it being grabbed, or is it just laying there? If it's just sitting there, then the only thing you need to do is just grab it and gently pull it. Couldn't you do that with anything, no matter how thin? I mean, this thing's probably laminated plastic. You could easily move a coin. I, I don't get it. I need more info. How, how is it stuck? Like, there's no way you couldn't get that coin out if it's visible from the outside and practically poking out. Which it is, almost poking out. You seriously can't get it out with a plastic card, a knife, a screwdriver, or tape? I don't believe that. How do I close this? Ah, there we go. I'm just gonna keep using the hint system, because I really am not gonna spend time on this ridiculous stuff. The time has come to use the box cutter. Great. Cut something you have on your person. Do I? What? Like, what? Do I need to... <sighs> Do I need to cut tape? Good. I don't want to cut anything, but apparently I have to cut something. What? Oh... Hey, what? What possible reason did I have to do that, other than the fact that the game told me to? Am I supposed to d fix this? Why would I want to? It occurs to you that you could use a receiver from the toy telephone, but right away you see that it's a really stupid idea. Yes, it is. <laughs> What what am I doing with this? What? You need to cut something you have on your person. Again? More? More cutting. Okay. I don't want to cut this. I don't want to cut this. What? You cut a strip of aluminum from the can thinking it might come in very handy. What? Uh, huh? I would just like to point out, on my person now, I have my badge, my phone, a flashlight, a can that I just cut a strip out of for no particular reason, a toy phone that I just cut the receiver off of for no particular reason, a toy keyboard that I just put batteries in for no particular reason, a toy that I just took batteries out to put into the, inside of the keyboard for no particular reason, a suitcase that I pulled out using a twisty motion from inside of the rubble, a box cutter, a screwdriver, some electrical tape, the receiver that I cut off of the phone for no particular reason, and the strip of aluminum that I cut out of the aluminum can for no particular reason. The fuck? <sighs> Adventure games. If this doesn't get better real quick, I am getting the hell out of here. So what? Is this used for the coin? A strip of aluminum is too flexible to dislodge the coin. Just tell me what to do. You'll have to access new hints once you have tried by yourself a few more times. Okay, whatever. 
I don't want to try. I don't... I don't even care anymore. Like... I can't make any logical connections here because nothing I've done has been logical. At all. Except, the only logical thing I've done so far, I think, is use the screwdriver on the screws. On this toy. That's it. That made sense. Nothing else does. Whatever I need to ne do next is probably some ridiculous com combination of all these freaking items. Aluminum strip. Really, what am I going to do with that? I have an idea. How about you shove it up your ass? Didn't work. Shove it up there. Thin enough to slip between the shackle and the body of the padlock. What? What? Make any... What? 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 Okay... Heretic has profane sacred ground choke. What should we do with him? Have ourselves some fun. Brothers and sisters! Brothers and sisters! Silence! I've asked you to come to the Hall of Eternity. Because the peace of our community has been disturbed. <gasps> Show yourself, heretic. Who are you? Hmm. I actually have some control here. Uh, I'm gonna play the silent game. I don't have to answer that. No? Fine. I'll answer it for you. Did you think for one minute we wouldn't look in your pockets? Henry White. So, Henry White, let's talk about you. What does your family do? Since your father is the president and majority shareholder in White Enterprises, you hesitate before answering. If you tell the truth, they'll surely demand ransom and you'll be free. But you also like to do things for yourself without relying on your family money. Answer, I'll shoot, heretic. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Like, that's a real dilemma? I'm a real independent kid, and I like to do things on my own, so I'm going to risk dying. Uh, no. Tell the truth. My parents are well. If you let me go, you'll get a reward. We don't want their money, but it might help them overcome the trauma of your disappearance. What do you say? But let's not prejudge him, brothers and sisters. Let's let him defend himself. Why have you profaned our temple, Heretic? Uh, to join your community. I want to join you. Is that so? What do you think, brothers and sisters? <laughs> Henry White, I've been alive for over 80 years. I can see through your lies. You work for a foundation that works to deprive us of our rights. <gasps> look at us. Do we look like we need shelter? Food. Resources. <laughs> In what way is all that going to help us, heretic? In nothing! In nothing! Well, the crowd is easily won over. Should I tell Boris to shoot Henry White? Or do you think you can come up with a reason why your existence should continue? Um... You know what? I think you should shoot me, because... I want to be put out of my misery. Please make this stop. Please just kill me. Mm. What's the worst option I could possibly pick? 
Because you'll feel bad. Don't do it. You can't kill me. My death would weigh on your consciences. You're wrong, heretic. Nothing gives greater moral satisfaction than liberating humanity of a tainted soul. Oh, I get to go back. Why is there no please shoot me button? I really want there to be a please shoot me button. Don't shoot me because of solidarity? What does that even mean? Let's do it, whatever the hell that is. I'm the heir to one of the largest fortunes in America. When it's mine, I'll use it to make this world a better place. What do you think, brothers and sisters, of this bold and vacuous promise? I think you just asked a loaded question. Right. Cause m my friend gonna beat you into the ground. Yeah. A good friend waiting for me to come back. He has anger management issues. If you hurt me, he'll take revenge. You have a friend who's going to take revenge on all of us. Bring it on. <laughs> well, I guess we know which one's gonna work, cause it's the only option left. I don't want to seem conceited, but. According to IQ tests, my intelligence is above average. So, you're intelligent. I never would have guessed. <laughs> Prove it. Have you ever played chess? I'm not bad at it. I'm champion in my university. White has a chance at checkmate in one move. What is it? Dude, I... <laughs> I have no idea. I've Last time I played chess was like 15 years ago. White has a chance to checkmate, uh... I don't even know what the hell that is. I don't- random, whatever. That. I think I just got it wrong. This move is famous. The Evergreen from 1852. Bishop takes the knight at E7 and checkmate. Yeah. But it was your memory that saved you, not your deductive capacity. Let's see. White makes a single move. That, although it doesn't result in checkmate, leaves black without options. I'm gonna fuck up everything. Don't even care. Random. Move the pawn from G2 to G3. Easy. Yes, as you said, it was easy. Wow, Let's I got it right. see if you can resolve this one. Despite its desperate situation, White has a chance at checkmate in the round Uh, this one. Perhaps take- I don't even care. Try another strategy. <laughs> These aren't even real options. You just, it just tells you to choose something else until you get it right. Wow. Why are you making it so easy for me? Move the bishop from D6 to E7 and checkmate. Why even allow me to interact at this point? I don't need to test you any further, Henry White. You are intelligent, there's no doubt. But what is the source of this intelligence? God or the devil? You project I perceive something dark in you, heretic. <gasps> I need to cleanse my soul before deciding your fate. Life or death. The coin of judgment has been tossed, Henry White. Let Boris block the exit and make sure that the heretic doesn't escape or bother you. He wouldn't dare try, Choke. As for the rest of you, do me a favor and don't go too far away. <laughs> it's not funny. Boris has closed the doors, Dad. You can leave the you can't leave the station through the tunnel and he shows you that if you try to escape, you'll shoot. If you try to escape, he'll shoot. Well keep looking then. Find my Danny and call me when you have him or Hello? Hello? Fuck! Okay, if I try to leave, he'll shoot. My new quest is to attempt to get him to shoot me. Please shoot me. Okay, he won't even do it. Can you, can you please shoot me? Please? What is he aiming the gun at? He's aiming it at the ceiling. All the while looking very bored. 
A crazy hobo with a gun. Um... Why does he look so happy? Just, no. Just. Can I please kill him? Boris has a gun. If you try to overpower him with this, you stand to lose. Can I, can I just, like, bind myself and have him shoot me? Okay. Why am I constantly moving? I'm not even touch- I'm not doing anything. I'm not touching the keyboard. Or the mouse. And my character is... Constantly rotating and walking. What? At what? At what? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just pressed escape to go to the menu. That's right. It does nothing. There is no menu. <sighs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. It made a bad first impression. It made a bad second impression. It made a really bad third impression. I don't even know if there has been a third impression. Is there such a thing as a third impression? I don't know. Either way, the only thing it, only thing it has oppressed, impressed upon me is horribleness. This game is really bad. There are literally only two good things I can say about this game that I can think of. The music is very good, and the environment art is very, very good. Everything else is terrible. Bad animations, horrible, ugly looking characters that are weird and choppy, the interface is wretched. The gameplay is the stupidest, ri most ridiculous classic adventure game nonsense I have ever seen. This is the kind of stuff that I would expect to see in like a 15 year old adventure game, or 20 year old adventure game. The sort of stuff that should remain in the past because it was terrible. Game developers, please stop doing this. Stop. No. Bad, bad game developers. I'm wagging my finger at you. Stop. No. Stop doing this. Just don't. Make adventure games better, not worse or the same as they were before, which was pretty damn terrible. Stop it with this nonsense, please. 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 Please stop. Just, just stop. Just, just stop. Make it go away. Make it go away. Why? 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 I wonder what I need to do next. Tell me what I need to do next. He's waiting, he's waiting for a call. Help him. Okay. Here, here, make a call. Are you on this phone, Boris? Where is Danny? Where? No, I don't read the papers. What happened at Cadway Station? No. It's not him. That child is not my Danny. It's not him. You understand? That is not my son. We'll keep looking and call me when you find him. Not someone else. Him! Okay. I'm halfway to getting out of here. Because you see what I did? I swapped uh, one colored phone for um, a differently colored phone. This one, which is probably actually going to work. So I'm guessing I'm probably going to have to take this real phone. This banana phone. Looks like a banana. Over to the thing and then use the le uh, tape and tape it to and then call for help. Even though I have my cell phone. What, do I have no signal? It occurs to you to call your friend, to, uh, but there's not even cell phone coverage for emergency calls. Of course. <laughs> Someone make it stop. Someone? Anyone? Just... just... no, no. Here, let's solve a mystery. What does this button do? Are you sure you want to leave? Are you sure you want to leave? Thank you for the information, game. Does that mean quit the entire game, or is it going to take me to the menu, which doesn't even really exist? What's this... what is this going to do? Let's find out. I'm waiting. I'm staring at a black screen. I think I crashed the game. I am doing control delete. Yesterday is not responding. 
Well, I'm here. Why don't I find out how much memory it's using? 113 megabytes. That's fascinating. Hmm. How about you end the task? Close the program. Done. And now we know. What happens when you press that button is the game crashes. Wonderful! Honestly, it probably crashed because I was recording while quitting, which can sometimes cause issues. But still, that's a wonderful way to end it, isn't it? Okay. I hope everyone has enjoyed my playthrough of yesterday.